As the world races towards new technology hoping to develop faster internet speeds, self-driving cars, and artificial intelligence, as believers we need to take a moment and really think about where the world is heading. Are we creating a better world? Or are we damaging this earth? When new technology is created, research and safety testing is an obligation upon us. No new technology should be accepted without clear evidence of safety. This is because anything that is proven to cause harm to the trees, insects, animals, or human life becomes forbidden. When technology is created to benefit mankind, it is a blessing. The fact that we all have access to information today with the click of a finger is amazing. But are there any risks using this kind of technology? Muslims should be people of research and evidence. So we encourage every single person watching this video to be thinkers and to never blindly accept information from us or anyone else without doing their own research. As many of you know, there has been a lot of mixed information circulating online. So without making any judgments, we wanted to put this information to the test to verify if it's true or false. We measured radiation using two different EMF meters on a mobile phone connected to 4G. As you can see, the levels of radiation that are measured by our devices are showing unsafe levels of radiation during connection to Wi-Fi or 4G. If we switch our device to airplane mode, all radiation stops. Now the risks do not come from using the phone for a few minutes. The problem is that many people use their phones all day and all night. During Ramadan, we watch videos and read Quran from our phones while we are connected to the internet. Many people sleep with their phones on. Even if you aren't using your device, it is constantly pulsing radiation through your body while you sleep. And this isn't a myth. This is a fact as we have just demonstrated for you all. There is a lot of research out there on mobile phone radiation and studies demonstrating that it can be very harmful, especially to children. So please do not give devices to your children that are connected online. Now we do have a solution for everyone who wants to continue using their devices without the risks of radiation. All you need to do is connect your devices directly through a wired connection. This is how we connect online and the way we use all our devices. Even your mobile phone can be connected to the Ethernet using a converter. We've used a USB-C converter which is connected from the phone to the wall. You can switch your device to flight mode and use the internet without any risks of radiation. This is highly recommended for anyone who uses their devices for longer than one hour a day. As you can see, our devices have measured hardly any levels of radiation using this method to connect online. We know that during this lockdown period, many people are constantly on their devices and this can impact your health in a very serious and negative way since we don't have the opportunity to go out or socialize. If you do not have access to a wired internet connection, you can take other precautions such as downloading videos, then going offline and watching the videos while you are disconnected from data and Wi-Fi. We all need to understand that this era of technology that we are living in is a new place that humanity has just entered and the risks and side effects of this technology will be uncovered in time as we discover its effects. As we mentioned before, unfortunately, there are already many evidences pointing towards negative health implications from long-term use. And as this technology moves forward, it will only increase in power as we demonstrated the radiation levels of 4G using our EMF devices. 5G will be 100 times stronger than this. And China has already started developing 6G technology. Countries like Switzerland have stopped the rollout of 5G due to health concerns but many other countries are spreading 5G even now during the lockdown. Ask yourself, why has an entire country banned it due to health concerns?